This is the final first draft, or, or first draft rather, of the teacher questionnaire um, for the quantitative data collection portion. Um, planning to have, or, or would really love to have, or I think it's important to have a student questionnaire as well, and I'm working on that. Um, I looked at uh, samples of um, uh, instruments from three different studies. One was um, uh, barriers and supports to implementing computer science basics, which took a similar kind of approach. Um, another were samples from the original 2012 Century and Colleagues um, study. And then um, there is another um, another that was provided through communication with, with Jean of a study that they're, Jeannie, I guess is her name, um, of a study that they're doing using this approach. So um, I used a template um, and uh, used that to, to draft together with the extended factor framework and um, innovation implementation framework. So um, what I had was, uh, sorry, what I had was, um, uh, this large um, set of 60, what is it, 61 um, factors. And this is this large factor framework. And the nice thing about it is that the people who made it reviewed, uh, Century and Casada reviewed, um, I think, 60 different, if I remember right, 60 or 65 or something different uh, instruments and measured. And they came up with this extensive framework for uh, measure or, or listing the mediating factors, right? We just call them the factors, I guess, right? Factors, processes, and mechanisms that influence and implement uh, influence the implementation, spread, and sustainability of educational innovations. The, in my qual, qual, um, uh, qualifying exam, we called these the critical factors. So the nice thing about this um, this list is that it's actually really extensive and um, encompassing all of the different published literature measures. So the idea is um, to go through here and select the ones that seem relevant to um, this study, right? Um, so in, in the questionnaire, it's divided up into um, kind of blue headings, which are focused on implementation of the innovation itself and these yellow headings, which are focused on these factors, right? So they were selected from, from this um, and also using uh, the three surveys as models, which explored um, curriculum, implementation of curriculum innovation. So um, yeah, sorry, uh, I think we're gonna remove, I'm gonna remove this section because uh, these can actually be measured, well, it, to a certain extent, they could be measured objectively. So I don't think you have to ask uh, Ask teachers about them, but um, the the factor frameworks here um, are organized by construct. So here's one on self-efficacy, um, right? Characteristics of users, the teachers in the context of the innovation. Um, the right column uh, indicates the kind of um, the kind of instrument it is, or the the kind of um, you know the kind of question that it is, um, and uh, then there are some prompt materials and then the specific questions. Um, tried to link up uh, or combine multiple questions, sorry, multiple constructs in single kind of Likert questions like this, where you have, you know, one, two, three, four, five specific statements that the teacher is planned to make um, uh, to, to select their appropriate perceived Likert um, selection here. Tried, tried to color code them so that we can, uh, or so that just the contract, the construct and the question are matched if there are more than one. Um, yeah, so so these are um, these are descriptive characteristics of individual user kind of demographics, um, and uh, yeah, they're organized in the factor framework by subheadings. So, for example, here's characteristics of the organization. Um, a couple of questions on that. Uh, characteristics of the users in terms of their perception of the innovation, right? Um, characteristics of the users that are not in the context of the innovation, like innovativeness, um, resourcefulness and coping, networkness, 
um, uh, characteristics of the users uh, in the context of the innovation. So, so that's kind of the second part. So I'm starting, starting with the second part. Um, the first part is using the innovation implementation framework. Um, and so that was uh, the, um, the work in reviewing, uh, reviewing published materials, conversations with developers, identifying the critical factors that make up the components, the critical components of the innovation itself arranged against these uh, two big categories, um, structural, right, which could be divided into procedural and educative, educative and then interactional or instructional. Um, and this survey, since it's, it's focused on teachers, would be aimed at pedagogical. Um, the student survey, and I have a couple of samples uh, from um, those three studies where they developed instruments for students as well. The idea would be that um, a selection of these would be uh, constructs to develop questions for the, for the student engagement portion, right? Um, and so those are found in the blue sections of this survey. Um, so uh, yeah, so so yeah, these uh, actually these descriptive could probably go at the at the end. Um, but things like you know, are you using this um, in terms of planning? How how do you how do you use it? Um, unit structure, instructional planning, um, uh, uh, con things about. Um, educative uh, uh, kind of like background knowledge related to these key core components. Um, and then uh, two kind of questions on uh, pedagogical or pedagogical or teacher interactional. So um, what they're actually like doing, right? So, so um, the three areas that this survey addresses are with regards to implementation innovation framework are the structure, kind of like how they're developing tools um, related to planning. Um, and then there are questions there. And uh, the educative um, structural element has to do with kind of their background knowledge in the variety or these four areas. Um, and then implementation is kind of like what they're actually doing in the classroom, right? So they make it a great plan. They have some the required background, but then what are they actually asking students to do um, specifically, right? So, um, yeah, I will email this to you as well, and I'm uh, working on the, the student one now. Thanks. Bye.